If you're a regular viewer to my channel, you'll know that most of the videos I produce are about production super yachts. Now, whether that's the wider 150, the Palmer Johnson 120 Izumi, or the Ferretti 960 MySu 2, all of the exterior styling of those yachts has been decided by the shipyard, leaving the buyer with relatively limited choices of what he can do with the interiors. Now, with that in mind, one of my viewers asked the question, what about buying a custom-made yacht? How does it work? To understand the pros and cons of building a completely custom yacht, it's important to understand why so many people buy production yachts, such as the Ferretti 960 MySu 2. Production yacht builders such as Ferretti, Sunseeker, Azimut and many others use a series of moulds for every part of the yacht, from the hull to the superstructure and even smaller features such as outside cabinetry. Now many people refer to these disparagingly as plastic boats, but they are severely underestimating the technology that goes into developing composite glass resin compounds that often even include Kevlar to make these yachts extremely strong and seaworthy. Whilst a production yacht can be a very cost-effective way of buying a super yacht, the compromise is that you can't really change much of the styling at all because all of the yacht is literally popped out of a mould. So the first step that you need to take in building your own custom-built super yacht is choosing the yacht designer for you. A mistake I hear many times, even by yacht owners, is that they will judge a shipyard by the designer. Somebody will say that they love Lurson as a brand because they have seen Quattro L. But what they're really appreciating is the design of Nuvolari Leonard, who also designed the Palmer Johnson sports range. Ocean Co's Alfa Nero, and a host of other yachts of all sizes and types. Espinono is another designer with a very strong identity and well known for having designed some huge yachts. My friends at Hot Lab are a young and dynamic team of Italian designers who are making a big impact on yacht design too. The important thing is to find a yacht designer who understands what your tastes are and what it is that you're looking to accomplish. Many of these yacht designers will also have a naval architecture department, but in truth, most yacht builders today offer what's called an existing naval platform. Now that's a ready engineered hull design that's already proven and is ready to go. Of course, you may decide that you still want to design your own hull, but be aware that this is a more expensive and time consuming way forward. Once you've decided upon your designer and design work gets underway, you'll need to find a technical partner to write up the technical specifications for the yacht. Your budget for interiors, specification of audio video equipment, navigational equipment, pumps and machinery, even how much you want to spend on chinaware and glassware should all go into a design brief. With time, you'll develop a thorough brief showing exactly how you want your yacht to look and what are the technical features. This is the right time to approach a builder to get a quote for the work. Now there are custom yacht builders all over the world, but here are the four main countries that most people will go to. Turkey has a rich heritage in yacht building and seemingly hundreds, well certainly scores of custom yacht builders. One of the better known yards is Turquoise that was bought a couple of years ago by the owner of Dutch builder Oceanco. Belgian are also an interesting alternative, having delivered some sizeable bespoke yachts now. Whilst Turkey offers very competitive pricing for custom builds, the German and Dutch builders are at the other end of the spectrum, but their quality is absolutely magnificent. Yachts such as Lady Lara from Lursen, Savannah from Fedship, Aquijo from Ocean Co and Aviva from Aberking and Rasmussen show that these builders are willing to take on a great variety of yachts from various designers and execute those designs to perfection. The world's most prolific builder of yachts by a long way though continues to be Italy. This country offers an outstanding ratio of price to quality and continues to build bigger and bigger vessels. Benetti are without a doubt the largest super yacht builder in Italy and although most of the yachts they produce are designed by their own, in-house team, they are also open to full custom builds. CRN of Ancona are very willing to work with various designers. The 55-metre Atlante was designed by Nuvolari Leonard, 73-metre Yala by Omega Architects, 
and the recently launched 74-metre Cloud9 by Zucan International. Rossi Navi, Columbus, Tankoa and many more builders offer facilities and craftsmanship that many yacht owners turn to. If you are thinking of building a custom yacht, it's really important to get hold of somebody who knows all of those various components, somebody who knows the yacht designers, somebody who can put you in contact with a technical specialist. I haven't even spoken yet about the importance of a good maritime lawyer to put together a rock solid contract. And of course, a project manager to see the construction through to its completion. Now that's the role of a yacht broker to bring people together to push and pull and cajole until a contract is finished, a deal is done and the yacht can be built. I'll be at the Monaco Yacht Show in just a few weeks meeting those very people and actually the Monaco Yacht Show is probably the best opportunity in the world to meet such a great array of specialists all under one roof so to speak. So as always if you are in the market to buy a yacht do get in contact with me and if you just enjoy yacht videos and yacht information please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be filming from the Cam Boat Show and from the Monaco Boat Show in coming weeks so by subscribing you'll make sure that you don't miss out on those videos.